How's everybody doing today? Great. Okay. Have you had a message yet? No. Good. Okay, as I'm tuning in to you, I'm getting a feeling of, of a child uh, being very, very close to you, bringing a lot of love. And I feel as though there's angels around you that, that are around people who become teachers and help to inspire, uh, to inspire young people. I see people coming to you, and I see you counseling people, and I really know that you're really helping them. And God bless you, sir. And thank you for listening to the world of spirit. Uh, my name is Ronald Holt. I am an 18-year veteran uh, police officer. It was May 10th, 07. Uh, my son, Blair, he left school after his last class, traveling on a public bus in Chicago, Illinois. And this gang member discovered that there was a rival gang member on the bus that he was looking to shoot. And uh, actually, Blair shielded a young lady a classmate and friend from uh, being fatally wounded, but the one bullet from a 40 caliber handgun did a lot of damage in his main organs, um, so he, he didn't su he didn't survive. As far as the spirit world, uh, I never bought into anything like that, but. I think uh, here at Lilydale, maybe God allows for spirits to make a connection. I want to tell them I'm sorry that, that I wasn't there to protect them. I think that's the thing that gets me, that I just wasn't there to protect them, and I should have been. You'll notice that most of the time when I'm working with you, my eyes are closed, mm -hmm. because it just helps me to remain as objective as possible. Okay. If you'd like to hear from a particular person who has passed on, you have to understand that when it is communicating with spirit, I literally just work here, so I can't make that happen. Okay. When I'm sensing around you, I'm, I'm sensing a lady here standing beside you. Um, she seems she has a Bible. She has a Bible in her hand, and um, I get a feeling I see, I see you as a little as a little boy, I see her holding you in her, in, in her arms. I feel like she's, she's loving you. She's telling you how great you are. Um, I'm also getting a feeling of a child a vibration that feels like your son. Now, this may sound silly to you, but you know, we can go to music classes in the spirit world. We can continue doing things there. Yes. Okay. The image I got of him in the spirit world is like he was standing up conducting. So other people basically doing his music. You're amazing because there are people, some of my son's friends who I uh, have already chosen to perform his music. Okay, I have to ask you a question now. There's a man standing behind you in a military uniform. Who is oh that? Oh my God. It's my family. Dad. Family, yeah. He died in, um, He's 32 years old. He, he, he died uh, in uh, May also of 1966. Okay. I'm seeing a dove in your hands for some reason. A dove. Oh, my God. And I ordered two sets of business cards okay. of my son's foundation. One set of business cards has a dove on it. Beautiful. Well, I and saw that image. See, when we get things, sometimes we see things, uh -huh. sometimes we hear, smell, taste. Uh -huh. Your father was a vision. Your son with me is all feelings. Yeah. Okay? I just got a very strong feeling that you really have been blessed by some very, some very powerful people in the spirit. Mm. You really have been. Mm. Thank you. Thanks for being here. That reading was pretty good. Wow. And he said some things that uh, made me believe. It kind of makes you think, well, God is a spirit, so maybe there's something to this. We are just the instrument that makes the connection, and that is a proof that life goes on. The bodies might not be there, but the heart, the love, and the soul, they are with us. If you believe, you will receive.
Oh, so.